So I'm here at SVS at National Harbor in 2019 and um, the new CTEC Active Control got uh, FDA approval just two or three weeks ago. So it was launched in US and Europe has access to this device since two years. So I'm here to present and to share my experience uh, with this new device with the US physicians. I would recommend those physicians who have access for the first time and to have the opportunity to use this device to really stay um, with uh, the instruction for use because the CTEC Active Control is based on the former current CTEC uh, being available for many years now. So all the instruction for use, the oversizing, the sizing charts and uh, all the device selections are the same. I would recommend really to learn the new device um, deployment sequence, which is really different. We have a very intuitive step-by-step -step deployment system, which deploys the StandCraft to 50% as an intermediate stage and a full deployment um, to 100% in a following step. In between, you have the uh, possibility to angulate in order to really optimize the position of the StandCraft especially in the arch. This device is really made for the arch. Uh, it's very conformable, flexible, and on top of that, you now have the time to place the device in the right uh, intended landing zone due to this new deployment sequence. This device became my favorite and my first choice because two achievements really I need to be highlighted. One is the staged deployment sequence and uh, the second is the optional angulation control especially for the arch. I think the biggest achievement with this device on top of all the other advantages um, I appreciated in the past is the, sec is the staged deployment sequence because it gives you more opportunities, it really gives you time for precise positioning and placement. It's uh, an excellent device for teaching because of that. This device comes with a nested handle system which allows you really to go step by step through the deployment. So this is very intuitive even for young surgeons doing and using this device for the first time. The use or the access to this uh, new device um, changed um, my daily practice dramatically. Um, we now increased our percutaneous access rate because the device comes with a reduced profile by two French. We abandoned rapid pacing because due to the intermediate and stage deployment sequence I mentioned already, there are no influence and impacts of hemodynamic forces in the arch. So you have time and you don't have to manipulate on blood pressure and cardiac output. We normally in zone 0 to 2 used as a standard rapid pacing. We abandoned it totally. So it's saving time, it's reducing the risk for the patient. Um, we uh, found out that uh, this device is ideal for a new zone of the thoracic aorta, which is zone 4, the distal landing zone, which uh, is sometimes very difficult to seal. With this device, you can really seal very accurately at the celiac trunk level because it's fixed on a lock wire and it has this second stage deployment sequence from first proximal to distal and then distal to proximal. So full control during the whole procedure which allows you to treat challenging distal landing zones or even repairs of type 1B endoleaks for example. Looking at our two-year experience and results of one year of follow-up, we really are very convinced uh, showing a high technical success rate of 100%, 99% um, conformability. There was no single type 1 endoleak in 82 patients. So this really, I think, is a improvement and uh, a good statement that this system works very well and seals uh, in very challenging anatomies. The clinical results always need to be uh, discussed in context of the clinical situation. So many patients are very sick 
there are a lot of emergencies. So we have, of course, a severe complication rate of 18%, but this is not device related. This is pathology and procedure related. We increased our percutaneous approach by 50%. Um, many of our patients need more than one device because the disease is extended. So this device is excellent when you need more than one device because you have one access and once you have one access you can deploy and insert multiple devices uh, very easily and very fast which is I think a benefit for the patient.